Welcome to Twisted Brush Pro Studio. I'm using version 17.15 in this video. In this video I'm going to show how to use the Pro Liquid brushes to create brush shapes. And these shapes, uh, we'll save them to the Clips panel and we can then use those shapes with other brushes such as the Pro Image Shape brushes. Now the first thing I'm going to do, uh, which I've already set up here, is to set the, the page size to be square. You can do that from the page set page size. and If your page isn't square yet, just make sure the width and height um, values are equal. I, in this case I used 500 for both. Next we're going to select the from the Art Pro Liquid art set the Pro Liquid Modeler brush. And I'm going to make two copies of that brush uh, holding down the shift key and clicking on the shortcuts panel and then going to select from here the Pro Liquid Shaper and Pro Liquid Smoother. And going back to the Pro Liquid Modeler brush, when you're working with liquid brushes as well as blob brushes, you can't work in the background layer, you have to work in a layer above that. So I'm going to click on the layer mini panel and that creates the layer. I'm also going to go back to the background layer here and click it, the layer mini panel and it hides the layer. You can see that uh, everything is transparent now by the pattern, uh, the checkered pattern and go back now and select the layer we want to work with. When creating brush shapes, often it's nice to have a pattern or symmetry. So the options here for symmetry or mirroring horizontal or vertical can come in very handy for that. For this example, I'm going to use the mirror vertical option. I'm going to reduce the size a little bit and now we should be all set to start painting. When we click on the layer the first time, we get the warning saying um, need to set up this layer for working with liquid paint. And just say yes. And now you're set and ready to go. Because we have the mirror vertical on, we are automatically mirroring everything we're doing um, vertically within the page. I'm going to select the subtract here to remove some of this. and add, add a little bit more back in. I'm going to select the shaper brush now. You noticed I didn't go and do the mirror vertical first, so I'm going to do the undo twice. Mirror vertical. Reduce the opacity a little bit to reduce the strength. You could have also used the strength slider on the brush controls panel. And now I'm going to select the uh, Pro Liquid Smoother, turn on Mirror Vertical. And when using the Liquid Smoother brush, often it comes in uh, handy to increase the size of the brush a little bit. Makes it easier to get a smoother, cleaner, cleaner edge. So here we have a fairly basic uh, uh, quick shape. And now what we want to do is go to the Edit menu and select Copy Merged. It's important to do Copy Merged here because we want to uh, make sure we pick up the uh, data from this uh, liquid layer and also we want to make sure everything stays transparent which is why we turned, on the back, turned off the background. So we did the Edit Copy Merged and that copied it to our clipboard. We, we can click here in the Clips panel and we see we have that object there. I'm going to use the right arrow key to switch pages and I'm going to select a brush from the Art Pro Image Shape art set. I'm going to select the Pro Image Shape and now I'm going to select the shape we just created and you can see we are able to paint with that shape. If we turn on Directional Rotate we are now painting with this shape as a new brush that we just created. And that's a quick way to create shapes and save them for later use within your, your clips bank. We could have easily created uh, uh, you know, dozens of, of brushes using the liquid modelers.